John and I are on the Celebrity Ascent. We are on the three night pre-inaugural cruise and we are going to do a full ship tour. Hello everybody, Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. John and I are on the Celebrity Ascent. We are on the three night pre-inaugural cruise and we're going to do a full ship tour and we'd like to take you along. Here we go. Here we are on deck two forward and the only thing located down here is the medical center. It is just aft of the elevator bank. This is the medical center. This is where you would come if you need medical attention. You can also call 911 from your room. They do ask that you make an appointment of course, if you have an emergency, as I said, you can always call 911 from your cabin. And there you have it. And this is the only thing located on deck two forward. We're now gonna head to deck two aft. We'll see you there. So here we are on deck two aft, just outside the elevator bank. And in the forward direction, we find Destination Gateway, the basement, which is the teenage hangout and some restrooms. So this is to the gangway. This is where you get on and off the ship in the different ports. Here's the basement and unfortunately it's closed. So it's where the kids can come. It's a little hangout room with some video games and I think they have a, uh, like an air hockey and things like that. So this is Destination Gateway. There's restrooms right here. So if you need to go to the restroom right before you get off the ship or right when you get back on. And when you're getting off the ship, usually they have water here for sale. You can just charge it right to your room. So you can take some water off with you. They usually say what back on board is. And there's back on board, 4.30. And over here, is a staircase to go up to the Grand Plaza. Here we are on deck three forward and just aft of the elevator bank is Camp at Sea. This is the child care center for any of the kids that are on the cruise with you and they have different age categories, etc. And I can't go in and record it because there's kids inside, but I can show you the location. And let's go to three aft. We'll see you there. This is the staircase going from destination gateway up into the martini bar on deck three. And since this is essentially where deck three begins, because there really isn't a deck three forward, Deck three forward is nothing but cabins and camp at sea. So here's the martini bar. So up there is La Voyage. That's the Daniel Blue restaurant. And we'll see that in a few minutes once we go to deck four. And then there's Cafe Obaccio up there and La Grand Bistro. And this is the Grand Plaza with the beautiful martini bar chandelier. And that's open to deck five as well. But we'll show you that when we go up there. And this is going into guest relations. Look at this cool wall. This is so cool. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I love all the artwork and decor. So this is guest relations. This is where you would come if you have any issues, any way, shape or form. They can help you with it all. It's nice they have some comfortable seating areas so you can wait if there are other members of your party with you. 
And then we have the Captain's Club concierge which has been relocated from deck five forward so this is actually the concierge for the concierge class as well as the captain's club ambassador for the captain's club members this is the actual three aft elevator bank but since deck three is a little bit unique in the way that it's split and we started at the grand plaza or the martini bar i wanted to make sure that you we're still oriented with where we are. Still heading in the aft direction on deck three. And then we'll continue on and show you the restaurants here. So the Edge series has four main dining rooms. Let me just show you. Off to the right is cabins. It's nothing but cabins over there. And off to the left are Tuscan, and Normandy. This is very cool. This is the wall that is twisted open to show the hull of the ship. And there's actually some notes as they were building it. So as I was saying, there's four main dining rooms. Instead of one large main dining room, they have four different main dining rooms and you can dine in any of them any night. There are two on deck, three aft, and two on deck four aft. Just want to show you the pretty art. And just before the Tuscan restaurant up here on our left is a restroom, conveniently located just outside of the dining rooms. There's more cabins through that door. Tuscan is Italian inspired. Each one of the restaurants has its own theme for food. You can eat in any of them any night and you can go to the same restaurant every night and request the classic menu, which will give you all four dining rooms in one menu. Each dining room has its own specific menu and it's the same every single night. So I would say this is probably the closest to the other restaurant layouts. This looks the most similar to the Tuscan on the other Edge Class ships. They're having a little meeting over there, so we're not gonna go in any further. All right, so let's go back out and we will go across the way to Normandy which has a French inspired. Oh, look at this. How lucky are we? Here's a copy of the menu. So on the right side are drinks, and then that's the Tuscan exclusives. That menu is available in Tuscan every single night and never changes. And then on the right side, this is for today only. They change every single night. This right side of the page changes every night, but it is available in every one of the four restaurants. And of course the celebrity classics here, that's available any night, every night in any restaurant. So the things on this page right here, this will change tomorrow, but it is available in all four restaurants. This part stays the same and is only available in Tuscan. Well, this part stays the same every night and regardless of the restaurant you're eating in, you can order from a different dining room. So let's say you're eating in Normandy, but you want one of the starters from Tuscan. You just tell your server from Tuscan I would like and you tell them what you want. Such a pretty space. Look at this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? These are the things that are unique of every Edge class ship. And I love it. This is Normandy. French inspired, as I said.
beautiful. They're much more open. I love it. So far, the changes are subtle, but I think they are significant. Okay, that does it for us on deck three. See you on deck four. Here we are on deck four forward. And unlike decks two and three, there are lots and lots of things to see on deck four. And we will start by going forward of the elevator bank where we will find the theater, the meeting place, some shops for shopping and restrooms. And then we will head aft and see all of these lovely locations. Okay, so coming out of the elevator bank on four forward, we will head forward. And to the left and to the right are the entrances to the theater. And it sounds like they are doing rehearsal right now. So I'm gonna see if we can just take a peek in Here's the entrance to the theater. And they have a marquee board here and it shows you usually what show is gonna be for that night. Tonight they have Jesse Hamilton Jr. All right, let's take a walk inside. Again, they are rehearsing, so we're just gonna take a quick peek in and I'm gonna just show you the what the theater so, looks like. Find a space on the bed if you're around there. Um, so this is deck four. So there are two us, decks. Come round to the theater. And we'll take you up to deck five and show you that as well. In between uh, Roman and Olga. Look at that Christine beautiful. Stage, our move up stage. It's a um, gorgeous and theater. And the the uh, screen behind it is just amazing. Five, six, Best seven, shows eight, at sea that I've mass. seen. Now, Two you can nine, walk six, up to seven, deck five nine, if you nine, come nine, in on deck four two, and the eight, seats four, are full. Five, Let's go out the other side so we can um, show you the full Molly, picture of everything. And they do Molly, offer bar time service time in here six. during the shows. Okay. Five, they six, have a eight, show eight, every eight, night. Eight, they are typically at seven and nine. And they show a different show every day or every night. So if you see something that you want to go see and it seems interesting to you, you should go see it that day because it won't repeat. I know some cruise lines repeat their shows. Celebrity does not. They have two shows every night, an early show and a late show, and then that's it. They don't show that one anymore. They have production shows with their own cast, and then they also have guest entertainers. So just outside of the theater, they have uh, a place called Connect and Gather, and it is exactly that. Right now they're having a meeting in there, so I can't really show you, but it's just like a conference room. It's really nothing, anything special to see inside. Sometimes they have events in there. Sometimes they'll do like different game shows or like a, 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 an art activity that you can do complimentary. Okay, heading back out into the elevator bank. And if we walk straight through the elevator bank, we are going to head straight for the club. The club is a place that they have some shows and they do a lot of activities here. This is where they host trivia they have multiple trivias every day. Every morning they have uh, general trivia. In the afternoon every day they have music trivia. They have a progressive trivia that if you participate from day one at the end, they have the winner overall. And it looks like right now they're gonna be doing a curling, street curling. So they have so many activities and it's a great place. So let's take a look inside. This is a great space on all the Edge class ships. I can't remember on the Beyond whether or not they had it, but I can say for sure on the Apex and the Edge, they do not have these windows. They have the windows up there and they have the windows over here, which make this space so much lighter and brighter. 
On the edge and the apex, it's very dark. And again, I can't remember for the beyond. They do have their own bar in this space and it spans two decks, decks four and deck five. That's deck five up there. And here's a staircase. You can go up the staircase, but you can also go directly to deck five on the elevator and enter from the deck five entrance. And then opposite side of the club are the stores. The stores are closed right now because we're in port, but we certainly can see inside them well enough and I can show you exactly what they have. The four stores they have are exactly the same as on the Beyond. They have the Spirited, which is their liquor store, the Local Edition, which is celebrity brand clothing, and next to that they have Resort Wear, which is other brands of clothing, and there is the model of the Ascent ship. Some people collect these, so pretty. And as I was saying, all of the stores are exactly the same. They're in the same location, but the front of the stores, the design, the decor is very, very, very different. It's, oh look, they have this really cute projection on the floor. It looks like a hatch of a submarine looking down at the ocean. I thought that was very cool. The front of the stores on the Beyond are a big blue and white chunky block and solid white walls. As you can see, this is all very open and light. I really like it a lot. I think it makes a tremendous difference. I went back and looked at the Beyond tour to look at this same section and it's really amazing the difference that just the front of the store will make. And as I said, they have all the same. So this last store is the same as well. It is attraction. And this is where they sell cosmetics and perfume. So all four of the stores are the same, the same location, same inside. They just look different on the outside. And it's really beautiful. And then of course, straight across from that is Future Cruises. And that's where you would go to book a future cruise. If you book while you're on board, they have some specials and there's some perks to doing that. And there are lots of knowledgeable crew members to assist you. John and I have booked many cruises on board. And then moving on, we have the studio. This is your photography studio. You can make an appointment to have a private photography session. This is just the waiting area. Inside is the actual studio and capture some of those memories in photos to last you forever. And just past the studio on the same side on the left is the shore excursions area. So they have these pads that you can come and you can assist yourself. You can tap your CPAS card and log in and you can purchase some things or they have some lovely representatives to help you. Say hello to YouTube. And they can assist you with booking as well. <laughs> so it's a great space. It looks about the same. It actually looks a little smaller on the Ascent than it does on the other Edge class ships, but it's lovely. Yes, very nice. Okay, moving on. Now, this is something that they have on the Beyond, but they do not have it on the Edge and the Apex, are restrooms right here, which is very close to Cafe El Baccio, place that John and I spend a lot of time. And just opposite that, they have the photo gallery and the eye lounge combined. So you can come in here, just like with Shore Excursions, you could tap your CPAS card and you can order, choose your photos, see the ones that you've had taken along the cruise. And then of course they have members here to assist you. And this is also where you would come for any of your Wi-Fi issues. Or if you wanted to upgrade, you can now do that on your app on your phone. There's so many things that you could do on the app now. It's amazing. And continuing in the aft direction is Cafe El Baccio. 
one of our favorite places. It is still morning. They are actually changing out the morning treats. So morning is... Good morning. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Wonderful. Would you like something? No, thank you. So they take away the morning treats right around noon, and then they replace them with afternoon treats, cupcakes and cookies and things of that nature. And now, as you can see here in this photo, they made an addition of some savory bites. Every afternoon when they change things over, they will also be adding three different sandwiches, one of them always a vegetarian option. And then of course, this is where you would order your drinks. Cafe El Baccio beverages all come with a charge. If you have a drink package, most are included in the classic. If it is not, you just pay the difference between the two. And it is such a lovely space. I love the teal blue green colors. It's, it's so pretty. This is my favorite Cafe El Baccio. And over here on the right is La Voyage, the Daniel Boulud restaurant. They have this on Beyond as well. And let's take a walk inside. And look how beautiful. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Now if I recall in the La Voyage on the Beyond, they had like netting from the ceiling dividing this area. This is definitely a different design. It's so pretty in here. Wow, gorgeous. So we haven't tried this yet. One of these days we will. Beautiful. And that's the galley to the kitchen and the walkway to the kitchen. And there's another room back here for a larger, it's a reserved table. Beautiful. It's a small space, but this is all you need. I love that it's so intimate. Okay. One of these days we will make a reservation here. Continuing on, on the opposite side, on deck four, opposite of Cafe El Baccio, is the Bistro. Le Grand Bistro. What a fabulous place to have lunch. It is one of their specialty restaurants. John and I just ate at the Bistro on the Apex. And so you can watch that video. I will put the link below if you want to see that. You can also come and get something to go. And those have the individual prices. Look at all of these delicious pastries. Now the pastries over at Cafe El Baccio are amazing, but these are next level. They are unreal. All the food here is delicious. And in the evening, this becomes La Petite Chef. So it is Le Grand Bistro for the morning with pastries and things, and then for lunch, and in the evening, it is transformed to La Petite Chef. Okay, let's continue on. And up here on our right is Craft Social, which is the sports bar of the ship. It's a great open space bar and they always have sporting events televised. And that's the casino, one entrance to the casino. We'll come back to that because I like to continue down the same side that I was on when we started. And then we'll circle back around to the casino. So this is Cafe Abaccio from the other end. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a closer look.
Very pretty. And there's the staircase to go up to deck five. They have a different art display item here on each one of the edge ships. That is so cool. It's like flowers being poured out of a bucket. Beautiful. The aesthetics design and artwork on this ship is amazing. Look at that wall, it's gorgeous. All right, let's continue in the aft direction on four on my left. Time is now, watch store. And on my right is the casino. We'll do a quick walk through there. I did a full tour of the casino already. So if you haven't seen that, it's online. I will include the link for that in this description as well. And then we have the jewelry Effie. And then the next shop, these are all the same on the edge class ships. And there's another entrance to the casino and the elevator bank is in there. That would be the aft elevator bank. Sense of self, they sell purses and some uh, costume jewelry, some clothing. And on the other edge ships, this is a wall of plates. That's so cool looking. And right here on the left is the ladies room and a uh, family restroom with a changing table for babies. And we have the men's restroom here. And then coming up to two of the four main dining rooms. This is Cyprus, which is Mediterranean inspired cuisine. These are all included. Instead of one large main dining room, they have four individual dining rooms. Look at how beautiful. Wow, that's stunning. Oh, very pretty. It's a different decor. It's a larger room. It's definitely set up differently than the other edge class ships. Beautiful. Okay, this is Cyprus. And just opposite the other side, is the Cosmopolitan. So the way that I remember it is the C restaurants are right outside the casino. All three start with the letter C. The Casino, the Cosmopolitan, and Cyprus. And as we already saw on deck three, or Tuscan, in Normandy. So that's an easy way for you to remember which decks they're on. Look at that beautiful display. Looks like it's raining gems. And then there's your staircase up to five and that is where blue is. We'll go up there next. And then that goes down to three to Tuscan and Normandy. This is the Cosmopolitan, and this is more of a, an American-inspired cuisine. How beautiful. Very different looking than the other Edge Class ships. It's beautiful. Oh, I love the blue accents. Blues and grays. I love it. Really pretty. It's much more open than the other main dining restaurants. So I'm seeing that as a common theme among the four of them.
Beautiful. Okay. So that does it for the four main dining rooms. You could choose which ones you want to eat in when. And you can eat in the same one every night if you want. And just ask for the menu for the other. They have one classic menu that has all four main dining rooms in it. And you can order any dish from any restaurant, from any of the dining rooms, regardless of where you're sitting and eating. And this is the casino. So this is actually the main entrance to the casino. I did a full tour, as I said, so I'm just gonna do a quick walk through. If you'd like to watch the full tour and see each individual machine and table up close, you can watch that video after you watch this one. It's beautiful. Everything is shiny new, of course. And lots of great games, lots of new games. There's the cash desk, that's your cashier. And there are your table games down the center. The majority of your slot machines are on the right. And then there's another little alcove up front. This is the other side of the elevator bank that I showed you before when we were on our way to Cyprus. So we're just circling back and straight ahead out that door is the uh, craft, social, sports bar, and Le Grand Bistro, just to give you a reference point. And this is a little alcove over here. That's the watch store. So it's all connected. There's your elevator bank for four aft. Okay, that is the full tour of deck four. I'll see you on deck five. Here we are on deck five, forward elevator bank. And forward of the elevator bank is deck five theater. So let's see the top of the theater. Same as on deck four, there's an entrance on both sides. Let's go to the right. So there's the staircase to go down to deck four. And they are still practicing. They are such hard workers. Everybody on this ship is, I'll tell you the crew, on Celebrity, I think is superior. Look at that theater, huh? It's just gorgeous. And that whole black thing, as you saw on four, lights up and has graphics, amazing. They have some incredible shows on the ship. And let's walk across to the other side and go out the other way. And that'll give us an idea of the entire space. The production cast is rehearsing for their new show, The Awakening, which we will be seeing tonight and we're very excited about. And then next week on The Maiden Voyage, they'll have two additional new shows. And straight ahead, so this is different. Well, let me just first point out, there's restrooms here, men's and women's. This is different, the annex. Huh. It is a private experience. This is where the captain's club office used to be. This says private experience. Experience game-packed excitement in a private room equipped with a range of virtual sports like golf, baseball. So I have no doubt that there's a fee. I doubt the door is going to open. No, you need your scan your C pass card for access. Nope. Oh, okay. 
So you would scan your CPAS card. You book it like you would book an excursion. Very cool. So I was able to get access to this private experience, which is located on deck five, just outside the theater. And it is where the concierge, Captain's Club concierge used to be. And David is here with me, and he's going to explain what this is all about. Thank Hi, you, David. Thank you, Joycey. Thank you, and welcome to the private experience, okay? In this case, I set for you the karaoke experience and the golf simulator experience, okay? Um, by now, we're calling it exactly as that, private experience, because it's that an experience which is private right now. Well, right here is where all the games are being played, okay? As you can see, the display are displayed over there, some other um, balls and things. It is because you can de use them also with the simulator. So the simulator is mostly golf, but there are also other things that you can do. Of course, the range of the prices, more or less right now, depending on the package, because every package has its own perks, right? Thank you so much for your time. Oh, my pleasure. I pleasure. really appreciate your time. And thank you for inviting me. Thank you. The cameras. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, David. Have a great time. All righty. We're back at the elevator bank. And now we are headed in the aft direction. And this is deck five of the club that we saw earlier where they hold a lot of activities. Let's see if they've got anything going on now. They were doing street curling before. So this is the deck five level. Oh, this is new. So they have a coin operated Miss Pac-Man game and a foosball table. Wow. Huh. All money operated. And then you have these little alcove seating areas here. Not really the best seats in the house if you're interested in seeing what's going on below. I highly recommend getting here early and getting the seats near the glass wall. If you are coming here to see one of the shows or one of the activities. So these here, as, as you can see, gives you a bird's eye view. Okay. And then of course there's the staircase that we saw earlier to go down to deck four. Alrighty, let's go back out and continue in the aft direction on deck five. This is the Park West Art Gallery. They really stepped this up. So they have a full screen here where they're showing you ongoing videos of some of the artists talking and doing some of their work. And they have a display. One of the things that they changed is they put these archways in that are lighted and they also put up these walls. I don't think this is, I don't think they have this on the beyond. I know in the beyond it was changed some, but I don't think they had these archways. I know they had it more set up like a gallery like this. Uh, it's, it's beautiful and it shows I guess their commitment to the relationship with Park West. This is all art gallery. So you can attend a art auction complimentary. They have some pretty interesting information. You certainly don't have to buy anything, but it's a fun thing to do if you're interested in art at all. You can absolutely just go and observe. This is the World Class Bar. World Class Bar is on all the ships. I know it's on the Solstice Class. I can't remember if it's on the Millennium Class or not, but I do know this. It is not on the edge and it is not on the apex. 
And I think they realized that because they did put it on the Beyond and of course now it's on the Ascent. And this is where they say the best bartenders in the fleet work. They're really uh, special craft cocktails that they make here. But I also think that the bartenders at the Martini Bar are probably just as talented in the bartending field. It's a cute little lookout. Now look at that view of the Martini Bar, huh? That's beautiful. Wow. All right, let's continue on deck five in the aft direction. Lots more of this ship to see still. Here on our left is Raw and Five. It's one of the specialty restaurants, seafood and sushi. There's all the fresh seafood and the chefs hard at work. It's a beautiful restaurant, very open. Love all the big windows and the openness of it all. Make a reservation. If you book the specialty restaurants online ahead of time, more often than not, there's a discount. But I have found that as Elite Plus, you get a 15% discount, and as Zenith, you get a 25% discount. And I've found that the discount is rarely larger than the 15% discount that the Elite Plus people get. So if you are Elite Plus or Zenith, I would wait till you get on board. They only sell so many of those at that discounted rate online anyway. It says that they're sold out when they've hit their limit, but the reservations are not sold out. It's just that the discounts that they offer are sold out. And across this beautiful wood bridge is Fine Cut. Fine Cut is an additional specialty restaurant. It is the ship's steakhouse. And the layout is definitely different. It's different than on the Beyond or the Edge or the Apex. It's a beautiful room. Really lovely. Nice window seats. I know on the other ships, there's like a deck area out the window. It's interesting. So that's definitely different. Alrighty. So that is fine cut. Oh, it's definitely a different layout because they have a little private room on the others. Continuing in the aft direction, we're coming up into the fine shops shopping area. We have Bulgari here on our right, or Bulgari. Beautiful art sculptures. All the Edge class ships have them. Absolutely gorgeous. Paget, I don't know what that is. Probably saying it wrong. Watches, it looks like. And Cartier. And this is the aft elevator bank for deck five. Let's continue around this way. There's a lovely seating area over here. Some place where you can come and sit, enjoy a cocktail. Just another great space on this beautiful ship. And we've got the, I refer to them as the weird hallway. Here is the weird hallway. So it's interesting on the other edge ships, 
There's a plaque here on the wall explaining about the inspiration for this strange hallway, and I don't see one for this. Okay. There's an exit to go out to the, oh, let me take you out there for a second. The outdoor decks. There you go. Lots of nice space outdoors. All right, let's check this out. A lot of mirrors. Oh, this is different. There we go. Ooh, well that was timing. Gets dark. Very cool. So that's interesting. The lighting in here changes to the music. Very cool. Let's continue on. I'm surprised they didn't do something a little bit more unique with this space. Maybe they're working on it. But on the other ships, they have definitely more interesting things here. I know on the Apex, they have a big butterfly chair. Okay, and as a reminder, this is the staircase down to the other dining rooms. This is new on the beyond and here on the ascent. They have a fancy chocolate shop. It's like a little pop-up. Look how pretty this is. So this is the beginning of Eden, the section on the ship that they refer to as Eden. But before we get into Eden anymore, right here on our left is blue. This is where you eat if you are in an aqua cabin. It is my personal favorite dining room, decor wise, of all of the dining rooms. so pretty they're all very similar they all have the same carpet they all have the same cobalt blue glasses they all have a version of this chandelier and a rose wall there's the big rose wall we passed it already love that and there is one significant difference between this and the other blue dining rooms on the other edge class ships and that is the windows they have these beautiful large windows I'm gonna see if I can get to one of them and open it up And they have this great outdoor eating area. And after speaking with the maitre d of Blue, she explained that they are not utilizing this space yet because it is much windier than they expected. And there is no access door to go out to this space for the guests. They hope to resolve all these issues so they can use it soon. This is where the lifeboats were. And there were a lot of people that complained that they had a beautiful dining room, but the view was blocked by the lifeboats. Look how pretty it is. Okay, back out, continuing in the aft direction. We are now entering Eden. You can tell by all the greenery. There's another store over here on our left called Mankind. And on the other ships, it's a Mont Blanc store. Here, well, it seems to be a men's store, high-end men's store. Okay. And here we go. Eden is so cool. So cool. So many unique things. So there's a 
restroom for the ladies over here. Look at this cool wall. Beautiful. And we have some additional seating spots over here. It's a nice place to come and have a cocktail before dinner. And we can go out. Take a look. This is the outdoor space for Eden. And I'll take you up there when we get up there a little bit closer. Hello. Hello. Thanks. Let's continue on the inside first. So we have a gentleman's restroom here. Oh, look, they have some putting greens. Nice. And this is the Eden Cafe. Darn it, it's closed. All right, let me see if I can peek behind the curtain. I oh, when they're doing show rehearsal. So this is where you would come and sit to have your Eden cafe breakfast or lunch. And I don't know. This is where they show you. This is where the Eden cafe is. Can I come in? Okay. So this is where the Eden cafe is. They serve breakfast and lunch here. They serve amazing sandwiches and soups and paninis and salads and cookies. And in the morning they serve uh, breakfast like sandwiches and things like that. And then this is a outdoor seating area for Eden, for the Eden Cafe. Not to be confused with the Eden Dining Room or the specialty restaurant at night. So this is the outdoor Eden Cafe Space. And let's take a walk down here to look at the space that is intended to be outdoor dining for the Blue Restaurant. Once they figure out how to prevent everything from blowing around and also to have some type of cover from the elements, if it's you know rainy or something like that, that is a door to the blue kitchen. Unfortunately, they need a exit and entrance for the guests to be able to get out here. And according to the maitre d', they do not have that set up yet. So it'll be interesting and hopefully they'll figure it out because I think it would be really lovely. Okay, let's go back in through Eden Cafe and take a look at Eden itself. There's a lot more to see of Eden. This outdoor eating area for the Eden Cafe is so underutilized. It's such a great spot. And I have never once, never once on 57 celebrity cruises, I have never seen anybody sitting out here. Alrighty. They have amazing fresh baked cookies in here in the afternoon when they serve lunch. So lunch is only served on sea days. Okay, let's continue here. So this is the Eden Lounge, the Eden Bar. So Eden is actually three levels, five that we were on now, but it also goes down to four where the restaurant is and it goes up to six. So there's another set of doors to go outside. There is a lift in here if you have accessibility issues. It's for decks four, five, and six for the Eden area only. The only way you can get to the Eden area is from deck five, and then you would need to go down to four or up to six from here, which obviously both have a lift on them as well. And look at this beautiful space. So at night they have some shows. We're gonna go up there in a minute. But first, let's go down to the 
Eden restaurant. Amazing, John and I have eaten here probably six times total on the different chips. We have some videos of that. It's the same menu across the ships, but it's a great menu. And so we like to experience it on the different ships. So far, it looks the same. I don't see anything different. It's a open kitchen concept. Oh, let me show you this. So this is where the lift comes from. So if you need to come in on five and come down to four because you're coming to the restaurant, you take that lift and it lets you out right here. As I said, it's an open kitchen concept. You can see them cooking your dinner. It's not a, an incredible amount of seating, but it's just enough, I think. I think it sells out every cruise. But the food is wonderful. It's different, unique, and really delicious. I highly recommend the lobster casserole. Although I don't know why they call it a casserole, but nothing casserole about it, but if you like lobster, it's delicious. John swears by the crab cake. Okay, so now let's go back up and I will take you through the rest of Eden up to the deck six part of Eden. So the only thing down here on the deck four part of Eden is the restaurant. I am getting my steps in today. Okay. So you can go up to deck six two ways. You can go up over the staircase over there. Or I like to go this way because I feel like you get to see every bit of everything going this way. So there's the cafe and there's a walkway here. And it spirals around at a slight incline as you go. And this way you don't miss anything. You have two great swings here. Not a shabby view. Lots and lots of seats. A lot of great spaces on this ship. Uh, okay. So this continues around. Before I do that, I'm gonna go over here and go up to six the rest of the way. So this is where we were before down there. So you can come up those stairs or you can come up the path that I just did. Actually cut this out and continue around. I think it's less confusing. We're gonna continue around on the ramp and then we'll come back down those stairs over there. This is a great spot to see the show. I think they have a show every night or just about every night in Eden. I think it's about 10, 15. But if you wanna get a good seat, you need to be here probably 9, 15, 9, 30. It fills up pretty quickly. There's the restaurant. So this goes all the way around. So we're almost fully on deck six. Got a little bit more of an 
inclined to go. As you can see, so much seating area, so much seating space. And in my opinion, this is the best place to come and see the show. So that's where the lift lets you out on deck six. If you get one of these seats, it's a perfect spot. If you can get it right here in the middle, then you don't have any poles. And there's the seating for even cafe down there. Oh, we got a little preview. So this section here, look how, how amazing is that? Great seats, great seats. Okay, so we are now at the top of deck six. Another little seating area here. Oh, look, there's costumes for the show. And then this is the little platform area that we showed you. So you can walk the spiral all the way around. That goes up slowly. You can see it over there. And it goes all the way around behind that wall and up over there. Or you can utilize these stairs. It's an incredible design space. Really amazing. And there you go. And there's the bar back down to the bottom. All right, guys, that does it for deck five. I'll see you on deck 14 because the rest of the decks are just cabins. Oh, I forgot to show you outside here. This is the rest of the outdoor seating for Eden, and this is the smoking section. You can tell because there's ashtrays. So if you're a smoker, this is one of the spots on the ship where you can come. And there you go. Okay, so this is the outdoor space for Eden. And now I'll see you on deck 14. Here we are on elevator bank 14. There are only cabins on decks 6 through 12, and there is not a deck 13. So we go straight from deck 5 to deck 14. And on deck 14, forward of the elevator is the spa and fitness center. The spa is on deck 14, and the fitness center, or the gym, is on deck 15. But there's a staircase here on the spa to the gym so that's why they include it both but the gym is actually on deck 15. so this is the entrance this is where you would come to check in for an appointment or possibly make an appointment for any of the spa services that they have and they have quite an extensive list this is the waiting area after you've checked in that's the staircase to go up to the gym. We'll see that when we're on deck 15. And coming into the spa, to the immediate right, we have a barber shop. And to the immediate left, we have a hair salon. In the hair salon, they do manicures, pedicures, and all hair services. They do colors, cuts, lots of different things. Down this hallway are where the treatment rooms are for the spa services. So things like facials, massages, body wraps, body scrubs, and there are two restrooms. One's for the lady, one for the men. And back out this way, Continuing on straight, off to the left is the relaxation lounge. This is where you would come to relax prior to your appointment or after your appointment. 
They also have acupuncture here on the ship. We have some fresh water and hot water for tea, all the tea fixings that you need. And this absolutely lovely relaxation lounge. You can also utilize this if you are in an aqua class cabin. You have unlimited access to the sea spa thermal suite. The sea thermal suite. This is something that you have full access to the entire time you are on your cruise being in the aqua cabins. Otherwise you can purchase daily passes and you can also have access to this for the day that you have a spa treatment. Not a salon treatment, but a spa treatment. These are the spa thermal beds. They're heated ceramic beds and they're lovely. Then we have individual spa rooms. Walk all the way over here. Got two hanging basket chairs. And the first spa room is infrared sauna called the desert. And it is your dry heat. So you can see lots of space. And look at that view, huh? That's not too shabby. There are hooks here for you to hang your robe. When you check in, they will give you robe and slippers to use. They have a locker room where you can put your stuff in a locker. They give you a key. And the next room over here. Energy healing crystallarium. Smells amazing in here. And of course you help yourself for your towels. Coming back around. This is the float. That's the chairs is the float section. And this is the water therapy called rainfall. They have two sections. They have a hot and a cold. So you can go, they suggest go from the hot to the cold. Benches to put your stuff on if you need to or have a seat. There's the hot mist. Press that button and the water comes out of those. Rain. Oh. So it goes all the way around. And behind me, there are two restrooms for you to use while you're in here, ladies and gentlemen. And there's a drinking water fountain. They have this lovely music playing all the time. And over in this corner, we have Turkish bath. It's dark, sorry. And right next to that. And this is more of a misty and not so much of a steam. OK, 
Okay, continuing on. It's such a beautiful space. And look at this crystal. Oh, that's gorgeous. And last but not least, we have salt therapy. It's called inhale. And this is the salt therapy room. So they do recommend that you limit yourself to 10 minutes per room, just for your own health benefits. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Continuing on in the aft direction. This is the very front of the ship. They even have IV therapy, I just saw. There's an awful lot of things. You can go online and you'll get the menu and it'll show you all of the options. And of course they have a whole line of different products that they sell. Okay, now we are going to head, as I said, in the aft direction. This is referred to as the resort deck. And we're going into the solarium, the indoor pool. It's very early in the morning, so nobody is utilizing it yet. So that's awesome for us. There's ladies and gentlemen's restroom on either side. There's lots and lots of seating. They put the towels on the chairs for you. Here on Celebrity, they treat us like adults and they trust us with the towels. You don't have to check them in or out with your CPAS card. They're just on the chair for you. How lovely. Two hot tubs and a pool in the center with a sunbathing deck. Absolutely gorgeous. And over here in the back corner is called the Spa Cafe. And if you have the premium drink package, you can get fresh juices made here, included in your package. They also serve small bites. Good morning. And we're lucky, they're actually out. So here's your drink station, coffee, and zucchini muffins. They also have a lunch option that they put out things later for lunch. And they're like this, small bites. Turkey wrap, banana bagel, look at that. Fresh fruits, that looks delicious. That is the fresh fruit. Look at that, banana bagel. Turkey wrap and avocado bruschetta. That looks amazing. Banana nut muffins and zucchini muffins. And this is all complimentary. The only thing that has a charge associated with it would be specialty coffees or the specialty juices. And here's your juice bar. Anything you want, you can have put into your smoothie. You can pay for one or it is included. Oh, here's a little menu. So the fresh pressed juice is $5. And the smoothies are six. Very nice. Here's a place for you to sit and enjoy your light bites. And this is the ladies restroom on this side. Continuing on, we're gonna go out to the main pool temperature controlled in this room. It's a great space. 
you want to sit in the sun, if you will, and not necessarily bake in the sun, this is a great spot for you. And it's adults only, 16 and over. There's a towel station, so you can grab an additional towel if you need it. Not that there are many kids on Celebrity, because there aren't. Okay, so now we're out on the regular pool deck, and again, there's a towel station. But even out here, they put the towels on the chairs for you. Lots of chairs, lots of spaces to sit out here. So this is deck 14. And at this end, there's an additional space that's only accessible from here. So this is the end by the pool bar. And to the left and to the right of the pool bar is a staircase. It's the only way to access this space from down. There's a staircase that then goes up besides. And this is just a nice, quiet, lounge area. There is a staircase that will take you up to deck 16 because deck 15 and 16 are a little tricky, but you can access it from there too. And let's go up over here. There's a little catwalk. Good morning. It's a good way for me to show you the pool. Isn't that pretty? And continuing over, it's the same space, but this side is the smoking area. So this is another outdoor smoking area for the guests. And that's where they would have like a, a DJ or something like that performing. And again, you can go up to deck 16 from here as well. But we're gonna go back down to deck 14 and continue. Right now we are on deck 15. Deck 15 is split in the middle because it's open for the pool. So if you went up that staircase on either side, you would be going up to deck 16. Took me a while to get the layout of this area, but being that this is my fourth ship tour of the edge class, I think I know what I'm doing finally. So this is the other side of the solarium. That's the other exit over there. And this is the mast grill. They serve hot dogs, hamburgers, turkey burgers, and veggie burgers, and french fries. And they have a drink station over here and they have soft serve ice cream that you can help yourself to. And there is an area for you to sit and eat or you can take it with you to go either to the pool, which is here. These are the private cabanas that you can rent. They have the ones with the wall in between is considered a half cabana for two people, and then they also have a full cabana. And those go all the way down. And look at this awesome pool space. There's the pool bar. And those giant champagne glasses are hot tubs. And I love that they've added umbrellas out here. And this is the lovely pool. sit here at this bar here, enjoy a cocktail. Lots of seating options, whether you want to be in the sun or not. And let's go check out the octopus. Everybody wants to know about the octopus. It's very cool looking. I like it. Being as this is only a three-day cruise, this has been challenging to see everything and do all the recordings at the same time. 
It's barely been a three day working cruise. Today is our last day. There's another seating area. Let's take a closer look at this guy. It's pretty cool. Back down to where we came in at on deck 14. This is the remainder of the pool deck. We saw the other side that has the cabanas, but we'll walk all the way around because the other side is also where the magic carpet stops. So as you can see, lots and lots of seating in the sun, in the shade. Such a beautiful ship. That is the entrance to the Ocean View Cafe. And that's the entrance to the elevator bank. And we'll get there in a minute. I just want to take you fully around 14 to show you the whole thing. There's the staircase up to the mast bar and the rooftop garden and sunset bar. And again, we'll get there in a minute. This is the backside of the cabanas that you can rent. And this orange section here is where the magic carpet stops. That's the bottom of the magic carpet. It's currently on deck 15, but we'll see that when we go up to deck 15 next. morning. I love all of these archways. Very cool. And here is the mast grill that I showed you from the pool deck. There's a pool bar. We're now just on the opposite side. And that over there is the entrance to the solarium. All right, let's go back in the aft direction and go to the Ocean View Cafe. Continuing on deck 14 on the pool deck. Oh, look at this cool sculpture. There's a ladies and gentlemen's restrooms right here. Look at that. That's very cool. Going to the Ocean View Cafe. This is great because it's early in the morning. It's the hand washing station. So this is the aft deck 14 aft elevator bank right here. So give you a location association. So this is 14 aft. And the only thing aft is the Ocean View Cafe and restrooms. Uh, there's your sign, Ocean View Cafe. As I said, this is the hand washing station. It's important to wash our hands. A little seating area over here. And this is Scoops. This is where they serve ice cream. And sometimes they have a flavor or two of gelato. And just inside here on our left is Il Secondo Baccio, Second Cafe Il Baccio. And across from the Il Secondo Baccio seating area, this is the display only bread section. Here's a full look at the buffet stations. And all along the outside to your right as you're walking around are your seating sections. There's lots and lots of places to sit. Lots of options for sitting. And back here, all the way through and all the way aft, is the pizza station. 
This is all still on deck 14. And they have an outdoor eating area. If you'd like to take your breakfast, lunch, or dinner out here. Here's the pizza station. And normally it's filled with all kinds of wonderful pizzas. And they also do uh, calzones and pizza rolls and things like that. And a little tip, if you wanna go collect some ingredients from the buffet, they'll make you whatever kind of pizza you want. Or if they have a certain type of pizza that they're making and you want one, like a whole pie for yourself, they'll do that for you also. So here's your outdoor space, hand washing station. And that will take you up to the rooftop garden and the sunset bar. So you can access that from here as well. And back down the other side of the Ocean View Cafe, here's the Ocean View Bar. Good morning, how are you? Additional space for seating. And again, because we're walking in the opposite direction, it's on our right-hand side. It's always on the outside, the seating. Gorgeous view. And here's a drink station. And that brings us full around for the buffet, Ocean View Cafe. Okay guys, that does it for us for deck 14. I'll see you on deck 15. Oh, before I go, there is one more spot I wanna show you. All the way through the buffet. So coming off of the elevators, it would be to your left. Most people go to the right, and that's why the big hand washing station is there on the right. But if you go to the left coming off of the elevator, there's a hand washing station here. And this is our favorite place to sit when we come to the Ocean View Cafe. It's this front room. It's awesome. And more often than not, it is partially empty or completely empty. It's a great space. It's also a really great spot for you if you want to play cards with some friends or family. It's a great spot. All right, now I'll see you on deck 15. Here we are on deck 15 forward. And the only thing in the aft direction is the retreat lounge. This is for the retreat or suite guests. Your card is what works the door to open it. You would just tap your card here and go inside. Let's take a look. This is the retreat lounge for the people that are in a suite and you can come in here and just hang out and you can get a cocktail. They have small bites for breakfast. There's a bar over here. And it's just a really great space. Good morning. morning. And headed back in the forward of the forward elevator. To the right are the edge villas, the suites. And to the left is the fitness center. I'm just going to give you a quick walk through of the fitness center not really talk. They usually have some kind of music playing or I have to do a voiceover anyway. All right, so we have some steppers and some treadmills. There are your weight machines. And to the right are your free weights. Music's not bad in here. And ellipticals, bikes, and then over here have 
motion studios, and this is where they do classes. Motion studio A and B. And here's the restroom for the gym, all the way in the back corner. Alrighty. Let's go back out to the elevator bank and we will continue on deck 15 in the aft direction. And coming out of the gym, this is the staircase down to deck 14 to the spa. Okay, now to 15 aft. Here we are on deck 15 aft. So because deck 15 does not go all the way through because of the pool, you have to actually go down to 14 and walk over and then take the elevator or walk up to 15. And in the aft direction, we will find the rooftop garden, the rooftop garden grill, the sunset bar, and the jogging track, and of course, some additional restrooms. Okay, continuing in the aft direction. The jogging track has two paths, a walk and a run and it is in one direction. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to go in the aft direction opposite the walking path direction to show you the rooftop garden, the rooftop garden grill, and the sunset bar. So here's the rooftop garden, one of my favorite places on the ship. They actually changed the path of the jogging track. It's this way on the beyond as well. So up this ramp, oh, before we get there, there's a plunge pool. So this is on deck 15 aft. This is new to the beyond and the ascent. This is not on the apex or the edge staircase up. But first we're gonna go to the rooftop garden so you can go up the stairs here, or you can continue around up the ramp. Let's go up the stairs. I love it up here. And oh my goodness, how amazing is it now? It, first thing in the morning, it's empty and it's so inviting. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the different color pillows that they're using. I don't remember those being on the beyond, but it is such a great space. Basically, it's the same, but it's definitely larger. I'm not sure what this pattern on the decking is. It looks like it might be for some type of a game, maybe volleyball. I'm not sure, but the space is definitely larger. It's the same movie screen and almost the same, but these wood boxes, if you will, are shaped a little bit differently in a little bit different locations. There's more openness to it, absolutely. Part of that might be that the plants are smaller, but I compared it to the video that I did for the tour of the beyond. And they're both incredibly beautiful spaces, but on the ascent, it definitely looks more open. At first, I thought these glass panels were something that was different and added, but it's not. This was exactly like this on the Beyond as well. So nothing here has changed on the rooftop garden either. It's an amazing place to eat. John and I have eaten here probably six times total on the edge, the apex, the Beyond, and hopefully on the maiden voyage, we will be eating here as well. And continuing in the aft direction, we are going to go to the Sunset Bar. Oh, they've redesigned this on the Beyond. I don't know if it's any different on the Ascent, but it was gorgeous on the Beyond. That takes you up to Deck 15 as well. Back past the Rooftop Garden Grill. 
So on the apex and the edge, they actually put over some sail awnings because they did not have this covering. And they do on the beyond. And it was a smart move because it was way too sunny and hot to sit out here otherwise. Gorgeous. So it is almost exactly the same as it is on the beyond. The decor that's on the back wall of the bar is different than what it is on the beyond. And some of the cushion colors are different, but other than that, it seems to be pretty spot on. Very different from the apex and the edge, but almost identical to the beyond. It's such a beautiful space. And it has two levels, 15 and 16. So that's level 15 down there. Right now we're on 16. But they, they redesigned this space. It's like this on the, uh, on the beyond. And it's just so gorgeous. So, so smart. So many more people can come up and enjoy the sunset bar now. And this is the smoking section. So this is the third smoking section that we've come across. The section outside of the Eden, the section outside or next to the pool bar and here. So as you can see, we're slowly going down. And down one more, and that's deck 15. And that is the outdoor eating section for the Ocean View Cafe. So it's all connected. All right, let's go check out the walking track a jogging track. It's another awesome space. Another plunge pool. So there's a total of two plunge pools. And more great seating. And there's the rooftop garden. Just to give you a location idea. Beautiful. Of course, a Hoyer lift if anybody needs one. And back down. And now we will walk the walking track or the jogging track. I won't be jogging, I will be walking. So the walking and jogging track is interesting. It goes around decks 15 and deck 16. It goes on an incline. As you go around, trying to stay out of everybody's way. The ship is very quiet in the morning, except for the walking and jogging track. So that's down to deck 14 to the main pool. So right now we're on deck 15. And as you can see over there, the walking track goes up. So we are going to end up on deck 16. So as I said, deck 15 does not go all the way through because the pool is here. Beautiful. I think I might be huffing and puffing by the time we get to the top, but we'll see.
I've been working on losing weight and walking upstairs and uphill has definitely improved. Well, let's take a let's take a view of the pool from up here. Gorgeous. And as I mentioned earlier, the champagne glasses are hot tubs. So we're passing by the first hot tub here on my right. Very nice. And there is a shower and a restroom. There's a towel station. And lots of seating and lounge chairs over here. So there is the door to the retreat sun deck. And we'll go there in a little bit. So we're now on deck 16 because the walking track goes up. And over here is the other entrance to the retreat sun deck. And it has a deck 17. And so deck 17 is only forward on this ship. Okay, we'll go in there in a little bit. And let's continue. This, this is the staircase down to the smoking area that is next to the pool bar. I hope I'm not confusing any of you. Like I said before, it took me a couple times to do this ship tour before I really got the layout. The whole deck 15, 16, I found it to be a little confusing when you're trying to do a tour. When you're on the ship and you're just having a good time, then it's whatever, you'll figure it out, right? And there's the ascent sign on the edge class ships. The mast bar is up here on 16 and the mast grill is down on 14. So here's the mess bar, just another pool bar. So it's the opposite end. That lighted hexagon over there is the pool bar below that. So it just gives you another bar at the other end of the ship. And this just dead ends down there. Okay guys, that's us for deck 16, decks 15 and 16. Now we'll head to 16 and 17 forward and everything retreat. So I've run into a very lovely guest who has offered to show us the inside of their edge villa on the ascent, 106. And if you guys remember, this is the suite that John and I were in when we were on the crossing for the edge. The sofa on the edge was white, so that's one difference. Let's take a look outside. And this is the balcony and the hot tub. A little bit different. I think it's just the furniture is reversed. But the actual villa itself, the living room, looks smaller than on the edge. And that might be because this one, along with the beyond, has a little front porch to the villa which the one on the edge did not have, and they have to make up that space somewhere. Back inside, let's take a quick look around before we go upstairs and show you the rest of the villa. And there's the desk space and the downstairs restroom. And if you have four guests in here, this is the closet for the downstairs people. Okay, let's head upstairs and see the rest of this beautiful villa. And of course, the second floor is where the bedroom and the master bathroom are. So some people say they can't do a villa because they can't do the stairs. But you could always go into the elevator to deck 16 because this door goes to the 
retreat sun deck. So you don't actually have to use the stairs. Here's your closet space, four closets. There's your view downstairs. And this is the bedroom. Not a shabby view to wake up to every day, huh? It's great, lovely. And this is the master bathroom, shower, bathroom, soaking tub. And that mirror slides from side to side so that you can see through into the bedroom, similar to that of the Sky Suite. There are two control panels, one upstairs and one downstairs. And this is just outside the door on the 16th deck, just outside the bedroom. And you have your own little front porch. These porches are only available on the Beyond and the Ascent. The Edge and the Apex do not have these. And something that I just learned, the porches are only on the even villa numbers. So villa number 102, 104, and 106 have the front porches. The odd numbered villas do not which would be villas 101, 103, and 105. So just something to be aware of. If you book a villa and you want the little front porch, make sure you book either 102, 104, or 106. In any case, it is a phenomenal suite, and John and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and we cannot thank this lovely lady enough to allow us to see it and share it with all of you. Okay, so we have access to the retreat sun deck which is amazing what a lovely lady so these are the even numbered villas edge villas and each one has its own little patio and then coming out onto the main retreat sun deck on deck 16. Let's take a look. This is where you would go in to go back down to the retreat lounge. Right, let's take a walk around the retreat sun deck. This is on deck 16. Lots of umbrellas, lots of little cabanas. All first come, first serve. There you go. The retreat. It's nice and quiet and empty up here right now. So you would come up from the elevator bank to deck 16. And these doors will take you into Lumine. Let's go see if we can go inside and take a peek. So this is Lumine. This is the retreat only or suite only dining room. It bends around the corner up there, but I don't want to push my luck because I'm really not supposed to be in here. I wanted to see if I could take a quick peek for you. This is where the sweet guests would eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. However, lunch is only served on sea days. Okay, let's head back out to the elevator bank on deck 16 where we are so that I can give you a reference point because we came up to deck 16 through the villa. Elevator bank 16 forward. There is not a 16 aft. Deck 16 and deck 17 are only forward, but I wanted to show you how to access Lumine from the elevator bank. So this is the way that you would come in if you were coming off the elevator. The other way that I came in was off the retreat sun deck. So for the villas, you can come out your back door or front door on deck 16 and go right into Lumine. Going back out to the retreat sun deck the way we came in. There's several ways to get in here. These are the villas on the other side, 103 and 105. And as you can see, they do not have the little porches. Now let's take a walk around and show you the rest of deck 16. So if you were out on the regular deck 16, this is where the cutoff is for the retreat. So you need your retreat 
CPAS card to get in to this door. So this is yet another entrance to the retreat sun deck. And they also have deck 17 on this ship. So the beyond and the ascent and soon to be Excel are the only ships that have a 17th deck. Okay guys, that does it for us on 16. Let's go up to deck 17. So all of the water features are up here on deck 17. So the only way to access deck 17 is by this staircase or the forward elevator takes you to deck 17 as well. Okay. So there's one hot tub. It's a shower. And this should go all the way around. Here's a towel station and they have sunscreen and aloe vera gel moisturizing. There's these little sections. Again, all first come. There's no additional private cabana bookings or anything like that. Everything in the retreat is accessible for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're in a sky suite or the iconic suite. I love the colors. I'm surprised they went with the burgundy and not the more orange color. Another towel station. And here's the pool. And more chairs around. And on this side is the retreat sun deck bar. So there's a bar in the retreat lounge. And then there's an additional one. It's a great seating spot over here. There's an additional bar here on deck 17. And during the day they have a limited menu, but a very lovely menu. They have a chicken wrap or a turkey wrap and the Lumine burger. A couple other things I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's complimentary. You place your order, pick it up here and you can take it to your seat. They have drink servers. And in the afternoons they come around with fresh fruit and things like that. And over here on this side, we have another hot tub. And it's the same as the other side. It's just a duplicate. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good also. And then this is the staircase down, just like the other side. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Okay, guys. That does it for us for the full tour of the beautiful Celebrity Ascent. We are on deck 17 all the way forward. There is no deck 17 aft. So this is the last of it. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your support. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day.